Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, so basically this video is gonna be about autumn. Um, it's my favorite time of year. I absolutely adore the colors that are out at the moment. You've got loads of beautiful greens, some browns, oranges, brick reds. Um, so I'm just gonna show you a really simple daytime autumnal look. Um, I am gonna use a little bit of a primer. So I'm gonna use the Amazing Radiance Cream by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So I'm literally just gonna pop that all over my skin, mainly concentrate on the cheek area to give myself a little bit of radiance. Next up, foundation wise, I'm gonna go with an EX1 Invisible Wear Liquid Foundation, and this is number F300. They're actually quite dark, the colors of the foundation, um, so I can really use them. I mean, I'm sure they do lighter ones, but I've only got really dark ones, so I have actually still got a bit of a tan. Um, and obviously I'm using a Real Techniques blending sponge. So I've just given myself a really nice coverage. Might come back to that a little bit. I don't want too much, as I can say. Just a little little tonal bits there. Um, I'm going to do um, under my eyes as well. This is Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum and Concealer. This is from Estee Lauder. So you've got a s kind of serum this side and then you've got a kind of stick foundation concealer this side. So I'm going to take the kind of serum side. I'm just going to use that in this area here. I'm going to use my new Real Techniques Eyes Complexion Sponge. Look, they've bought one out, which is brilliant. So I'm going to use a little bit of that, and I'm going to use the kind of, it's a really cool shape actually. The girls have been really clever because they've got a pointy bit for precision, so if you want to go in detailed bits. You've got a flat end here so that can wipe away any mistakes. You've also got a really nice long bit here so you can really blend it into your skin, but then turn it around to the shorter end and you can really get in and pat into it. So I'm going to use the slightly shorter end. I'm just going to pat that into my skin a little bit. Again, make sure you wet it. I'm going to take the concealer side of it now and just run that under my eyes. Take a little bit further. So you're really giving it a good coverage. Then I'm going to take the bigger side, this side here. I'm just going to really gently pat that all in. Go right into the tip as well. Lovely. Now, I'm going to take, I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to take this um, medium long wear eye base. This is by Bobbi Brown, um, which is brilliant. I'm so glad they bought out an eye base. It's taken them a while. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of that. It's basically a primer for the eyeshadow. So you see there, it's a little creamy texture. You don't need too much. And I'm just going to pop that on with my finger all over, right up to the eyebrow as well, because then you're covering all bases. Not only does it help the eyeshadow stay on, but it also helps just neutralize the eyelids as well. Lovely. Now, I'm gonna take this palette here. This is uh, Delectable's eyeshadow palette, and it says Delicious Shades of Nude, and this is by Laura Geller. Now, I think that is like the perfect eyeshadows for autumn. I mean, look at the colors. Really earthy tones, which I think are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to take a eyeshadow brush. Um, this one's from Eco Tools. I'm just going to take a little flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with a matte one which is called Mushroom, which is just this one here. I'm just going to take that all over my eyelid. So just give myself a really nice base. Take it right into the corner. Just cover my eyelid with it. I'm gonna go in with Hazelnut, which is this one here. Again, I'm using all matte tones, this one. So you're just literally patting it along, building up the eyeshadow, so it kind of covers a little bit, not quite up to the crease yet. So that's it, really pretty. And then take it underneath as well. When I say go under, go under quite thick, so use the other end of it and just really smudge it out. Now I know it looks like you haven't had any sleep for a few days, but actually that's kind of, that was kind of all the fashion rage at the moment, is this kind of smouldery, smudgy eyes. Just to give it a bit more of a kind of woodland autumnal feel, I'm actually going to take this uh, Forest Green, which is by um, Laura Mercier. I love this. Now this is a brilliant eyeliner. You can use it wet, that's the whole point of it, or you can use it dry. 
completely up to you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use it wet and I'm just gonna take it on the inside of my eye. Really, really gently. More kind of on the lash line rather than inside. But I'm just gonna take it kind of right onto the root of the lashes. I don't actually want a harsh eyeliner at all. I just want to take it so you just ever so slightly see that kind of greenness. I'm going to zoom in so just to show you what I mean. Can you see there? I've just done it really nice, like not in my eye, but kind of just on the inside. So really running it along. So use the angle brush. And I'm going to do exactly the same, but on the top. Just take the brush, just right underneath, so you can really get into your lashes. This is called a tide line. So you can see there, some really pretty autumnal shades. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, and I'm gonna put loads and loads of mascara on. I'm gonna go for Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It's got a really thick, bristly brush. I'm just gonna give myself loads and loads of mascara. Really make your eyelashes a real kind of statement because you really want them to kind of be fluffy but at the same time you know you really want it because you haven't got any liner on top at all just really smudgy eyeshadow so you really want to make that impact with your lashes and I'm going to go underneath as well. Um, I'm going to use the Wonder Brow 2 eye, um, de-defined um, eyebrow which is in black brown. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. So on the other end, just give it a twist, you might not know that, and then there's a really beautiful little mascara one there. Again, I'm just going to lift my eyebrows a little bit. Give them a nice kind of definition. Right, now Skin World. I am going to pop on a little bit of the Tanya Burr uh, Cheek Illuminator, and this one is in Golden Girl. Um, I'm just going to pop that as a bit of a blusher. This is gorgeous, and the first time using this. So I really like blend it in. It's not too um, heavy or dark, but as you can see. And I really want that kind of like lovely wind blown cheeks. But this is gorgeous because it gives that kind of, it's got slight terracottiness to it, but also really nice sheen. Gorgeous. Now onto lips. This is where I get excited. Um, I am going to use a beautiful Rosie Huntington Whiteley's uh, Delicious Kiss Me. Oh, this looks amazing. Um, this is a beautiful lip liner, lip liner, lipstick. It's not matte, it's got a lovely kind of glossy finish. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown uh, liner in Raisin and I'm just going to go into that. So lipstick first, and then lip liner. Really blend the lip liner into the lipstick because you don't want, um, it's a very smooth lipstick, but you don't want that heavy line. And it's also a really lovely glossy texture, so that raisin just really matches it perfectly. But it's a really kind of like, very moisturising, so it's really delicious. Um, so I'm actually going to take the Young Blood HD um, powder. This is a loose powder, and I'm just going to powder all over. Actually, I really want this to last. I do love that kind of beautiful dewy look, but at the same time with this one, I really want it to stay put. Um, I'm just going to finish it off with a tiny bit more blusher. Um, I'm going to take um, Pearly Paprika, and this is by um, Fashion Fair beautiful kind of like orangey tone, love this. I'm just gonna pop that really small amount just on the apples. I'm just blend it up a little bit into my hairline. And then finally, I've got the Shimmer Skin Perfector in Champagne by Becca. And I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. Just a little bit down my nose. And there you have it guys, you have quite a striking but really beautiful using lots of different autumnal colours makeup.
I hope you enjoy it.